Hey folks, welcome back to Wild West Barbecue. Today we're going to be smoking some cheese in the Weber Smoky Mountain. I'm going with the 22 and a half inch Weber Smoky Mountain today simply because that's got the biggest vertical distance between the coals and the cheese and I'm trying to keep the temperature in the smoker as low as possible. So I want as much vertical space in there as I can get. So I'll go outside, I'll get the coal started and bring you guys on back. All right, so I'm back outside. I got the smoker pretty much set up and good to go. When I'm smoking cheese, I try to keep the temperature in the smoker as low as possible. And so what I like to do is, I'll just use four pieces of charcoal in here, and I will use a paraffin lighter cube, get it going. I flip the chimney upside down. It's just easier that way with that little amount of charcoal. And uh, once the charcoal's lit, I'll dump it and put some smoke wood on top, assemble the smoker, and start it up. So let's get this party started. All right, now all I have to do is wait for those coals to catch and we'll be all set to start smoking this cheese. All right, the coals are ready to go. I'm just going to get them arranged and get the wood on there and get the smoker assembled. Uh, today's cheese wise, I've got three bricks of pepper jack, three bricks of Colby Jack, and one brick of horseradish cheddar, which I never tried before but thought sounded interesting. So I'm gonna take a chance and see how it goes. All right, so the smoker is assembled. We're good to go. I'll probably come back out once more in this process and add a, four more pieces of charcoal to it. The charcoal tends to last about an hour or so with just the four pieces. So I'll be back out in about an hour. I'll add four more pieces of charcoal to it and start the whole process over again. It'll be about two hours in the smoke or so. And I found for, for us, that's just about right. So that's what we're gonna go with today. I wasn't able to get the second round of smoke going like I thought I was going to. Real life stuff came up and I had to leave right as the, uh, the first smoke was getting done. But that's all right. That, that happens. I've got, uh, I've got the cheese pulled. It's packaged up and ready to go in the fridge. Uh, it smells wonderful. I think it's going to be all right even just with the first round of smoke only. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like when it was done. There's not much difference between what you go and buy in a store and how it looks now but uh, it is done it is ready to eat uh, so I'm looking forward to it so I finally got back home uh, the cheese has been sitting in the fridge for six hours or so now I cut up a little piece of that horseradish cheddar I'm gonna give it a try and see what it's like pretty good I can taste the smoke there's the horseradish I can definitely taste that we're all not bad it's got a decent smokiness to it um, it's something I recommend doing with cheese if you like smoky cheese. It definitely has a real smoky flavor to it. Overall, it's, uh, it's a success. It's a good way to smoke some cheese.